پارڈن می اینڈ مائی بردر بات خلنا فی رحمت کا اینڈ ایڈمٹ اس ان ٹو یور مرسی وان تارحم الراحمین اینڈ شورلی یو آر دی موسٹ مرسی فل آف آل دی مرسی فلس ہو سو ایور ہیز اے مرسی یو ہیو مور مرسی دین ہیم ان الذین اتخذوا العجل سینالهم غضب من ربهم Now this was the verdict that Moses give, gave. Verily, who had taken to the worship of the calf, who had taken the calf as a god beside Allah. In the ladina takhadu lejila sayyadaluhum ghalabu min rabbi. Very soon, wrath of Allah will befall them. Wa zillatun fi rahiyat al-dunya. And humiliation in the life of this world. Wa kazalika najdil muftareen. And thus we recompense the forgers. وَالَّذِينَ عَمِلُوا سَيِّعَاتِ سُمَّ تَعْبُوا As for those who committed evil, but then they repented. Then they turned back. مِمْ بَعْدِهَا After that. وَعَمَنُوا And they reviewed and renewed their, their iman and their belief and their faith. إِنَّ رَبَّكَ مِمْ بَعْدِهَا لَغَفُورٌ رَحِيمٌ Verily your Lord, after their repentance, He is forgiving, He is merciful. Now what happened to those people who had not repented? This has been given and we have read it in Surah Al-Baqarah, ayah number 54. وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ إِنَّكُمْ ظَلَمْتُ مَنْفُسَكُمْ بِاتِّخَادِكُمُ الْعِجْلَ فَتُوبُوا إِلَىٰ بَارِكُمْ فَاقْتُلُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ ذَلِكُمْ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِنَّ بَارِكُمْ فَتَابَ عَلَيْكُمْ Now it was commanded to all the twelve tribes that the people of each tribe They should kill the people from their own tribe who committed this shirk and did not repent. And as far as I can remember, the number which is given in Bible, in the book of Exodus, is 70,000. It was a big repentance at, at what we call, you know, in our modern terminology, a big purge. Purging of the party, purging of the community, because an ideological party. An ideological group, it cannot accommodate within its folds people who don't, be, who go against that ideology. If they bear them, if they accommodate them, then the whole community will be corrupted. So this is actually the punishment for apostasy. This is irtidad. And the punishment in Islam of irtidad is killing. And that was the punishment which was given to them. Seventy thousand of them were killed. And you know, every tribe, people who committed that crime were killed by the same people of the same tribe. Because in a tribal society, this is very important. If people of another tribe, they kill them, then they could be, you know, there could be some reaction. So, فَقْتُلُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ Kill yourselves, the people belonging to your own tribe. وَلَمَّا سَقَتْ عَنْ مُوسَ الْغَضَبُ And when the anger of Musa cooled down, Akhad al-Alwah, now he took the tablets, you know, that he had thrown on the ground. Akhad al-Alwah, wa fi nuskhatiha hudam wa rahmatun lillazina hum li rabbihim yarhabun. And in its inscription there was the guidance. Any mercy for those who have fear of Allah in their minds and hearts. Again the same thing, hudan lil muttaqeen. This Quran is also hudan lil muttaqeen. In the same way, those who have some regard for Allah, who are conscious of Allah, only those can benefit from Quran and only those such people could benefit from Torah. وَقْتَارَ مُوسَىٰ قَوْمَهُ سَبْعِينَ رَجُلَىٰ لِمِقَاتِنَا And Musa chose 70 people out of his nation for an appointed time of ours. Now they had killed those, they had executed, but still, you know, for a collective repentance of the whole of the community, the leaders from all the tribes, they were selected, 70 of them. We go in a congregation to Tur, and there we repent before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and ask for His forgiveness. Oh Allah, forgive us for this big blunder, big crime, committing shirk, worshipping cow and calf, The most manifest, you know, shirk, type of shirk. So they, so he selected a deputation, you may call it, of 70 people. وَقْتَارَ مُوسَىٰ قَوْمَهُ سَبْجِينَ رَجُلًا لِمِيقَاتِنَا A time was fixed. فَلَمَّا أَخَذَتْهُمُ الرَّجْفَةِ 
When they reached there, there was a big earthquake. قال رب لا شيت أهلكتهم من قبل. And Moses, Musa said, O our Lord, if you had so wished, you could destroy them before this. وَإِيَّا and even me, who am I? I am also a bondman of yours, a creature. You created me. I am also a servant of yours. And these people are also servants. Your bondsmen. Had you wished so, you, you would have destroyed us long before. أَتُّهْلِكُنَا بِمَا فَعْلَ السُّفَحَا وَمِنَّا Do you want to destroy us? Because of the sin of those people who were fools amongst us. Although they were quite a big, large number from us. But they were safi. They were fools. Do you want to destroy us for what they did? In hiya illa fitnatuk. This is nothing but a trial and test from you. Tudillu biha man tasha. And in this testing, one thing is either you pass or you fail. In the limtihani yukraman maru au yuhan. Whenever there is a test, either the person is honored because he passes the test. Or he is humiliated because he fails. So in hiya illa fitnatuk. It was a test from you. And for, by that test, you declare them to, to whomsoever you like as going, have, having gone astray. And you lead to the right path, whomsoever you wish. You are our protector. You are our friend. So please forgive us. And have mercy on us. And surely you are the best of the forgivers. Waktublana fi hadhi dunya hasana. A very important prayer of Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. And you decide for us. Write down for us. Waktublana fi hadhi dunya hasana. Good in this world also. Wa fil akhirah. And also in the hereafter. You know the prayer? Especially in the hajj, in the tawaf. Between the rukni yamani. And you know the... حَجْرِ أَسْوَتْ رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَةً وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَةً وَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ So that was the dua. وَاكْتُبْ لَنَا فِي هَذِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَةً وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ إِنَّا هُدْنَا إِلَيْكِ We turn our faces and we turn ourselves towards you. قَالَ عَذَابِ أُسِيبُ بِهِ مَنَا شَاءُ Now there are three things that Allah said in reply. As for my punishment and chastisement, I will inflict with it whomsoever I like. But rahmati wasayat kulla shay. As for my mercy, it embraces everything. The existence of everything is due to my mercy. I am feeding you. It's out of mercy that I am feeding you. So everything, you know, has its share from my mercy. But rahmati wasayat kulla shay. But the third thing, as for a special mercy... For which you are, you know, praying. سَأَكْتُبُهَا لِلَّذِينَ يَتَّقُونَ وَيُتُونَ الزَّكَاةَ وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ بِآيَاتِنَا يُؤْمِنُونَ We shall keep it reserved for those who, who are muttaqeen, number one. سَأَكْتُبُهَا I will write it down. I will reserve it for, for, for whomsoever. لِلَّذِينَ يَتَّقُونَ Who have the fear of Allah in their mind. The regard for Allah. وَيُتُونَ الزَّكَاةَ and they give the charity, the obligatory charity. And who will be believing in, in our revelations. Who will follow the messenger, our last messenger, the unlettered Nabi, Al Nabi Al Ummi. Ummi can have two meanings. Because Muhammad Sassam was raised from among the Ummiyeen. Huwa nazi ba'asa fil Ummiyeen a rasool ammin hum. Yatlu alayhim ayati. So from the Ummiyeen we have raised him. We will be raising him. And because he was also unlettered. He never received any education in this world. But Allah gave him. He gave him. Nobody can measure it. The ilm that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But you know this, the formal education as you call it, this worldly education that he never had. So he was ummi, unlettered one. So who will be following our last messenger? 
دیٹ از دی امی نبی اللہ اباؤٹ ہوم پروفیسیز دے ول فائنڈ مکتوباً ان دا ہوم ان تورا آلسو ایز ویل ایز ان جیل آلسو یا مرحوم بالمعروف اینڈ ہی ول انجوائن ٹو دیم واٹ ایور از رائٹ وہ جن ہا ہوم ان المنکر ہی ول فرمٹ دیم فرام واٹ ایور از رانگ وہ یو ہل الحم الطیبات اینڈ ہی ول ڈکلیئر فار دیم ایز لا فل اینڈ پرمیسیبل آل دی گڈ تھنگس وہ یو ہر ریم والے الخبائس and he will declare upon them haram and impermissible all that is foul wa yazawanhum israhum wal arlal allati kanat alayhim and he will relieve them of the burdens that they would have upon them and the chains of bondages allati kanat alayhim fal ladina amanu bihi now these four words are very important and we have to ponder over them ourselves to reflect for some time فلزین آمن بہی سو دوز پیپل ہو ول بلیو ان ہم وہ ضرو ہو اینڈ دے ول سپورٹ ہم اینڈ اسٹرینگتھن ہم اینڈ آنر ہم وہ نہ سرو ہو اینڈ ہیلپ ہم وہ تبا نور الزی ان ضلع ما ہو اینڈ ول فالو دی لائٹ وچ ول بی سینڈ ڈاؤن ود ہم دیٹ از دس بک قرآن الا کہ ملفون only such people will be successors they will have they will be successful and they will prosper now we have to judge ourselves whether we are fulfilling these four conditions once i made a lecture did a, delivered lecture on this very ayah i don't remember whether it has been translated into english also but in urdu you know it's long being published nabi akram sallallahu alaihi wasallam se hamare taluq ki buniyade what are the basis of our relationship with muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam first of all we believe in him and what is the result of believing obedience la yumanu ahadukum hatta yakuna hawahu tabal lima jaitu bi you have to submit whatever he had brought and what's the second requirement of this iman la yumanu ahadukum hatta akuna احب الیہ من والدیہ و ولدیہ و الناس اجمعین نو ون امنگسٹ یو کین کین کلیم ٹو بی مومن انلیس آئی بیکم ٹو ہم مور ڈیئر دین ہز فادر اینڈ ہز سن اینڈ آل دی ہیومن بینگس سو دیز آر دی ٹو مینیفیسٹیشنز آف ایمان ٹوٹل اوبیڈینس اینڈ لو مور دین ایون دی فادر اور دی سن دس از ایمان نمبر ٹو از ضرور سپورٹ ہم سپورٹ ہز کاز He didn't want to establish a kingdom for himself. What he wanted to do? He was assigned a mission by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The support of his mission. That mission was not limited to his life. His risala is going and continuing till, till this, the doomsday. This mission is still alive today. Are we living for that mission? Just remember the concluding ayat of Surah Al-Anam. ان سلاتی و نسوکی و محیا و مماتی للہ رب العالمی آر وی لیونگ اپ ٹو اٹ اسٹرینگ دی مشن آف محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم و نسر ہو اینڈ دوز ہو ول ہیلپ ہم ڈیڈ ہی نیڈ اینی ہیلپ فار از اینی پرسنل کاز اینی پرسنل ایمبیشنس یو نو دیر از دا حدیث دیٹ دی پروفٹ نیور وانٹیڈ اینی پرسنل ہیلپ فرام اینی بڈی even if he was riding you know and even something had dropped he was riding on the camel and something he dropped down he would never ask any person to hand it over to him he will make the camel sit descend down himself take the thing for himself he never accepted any help on personal account but the help to establish the deen of allah kunu ansar allah کما کار آئی سب نمبر یا مری الحباری من انصاری ہو از گوئنگ ٹو ہیلپ می ان دی کاز آف اللہ ان دی وے آف اللہ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹوڈ اللہ آئی وانٹ ٹو اسٹیبلش دی دین آف اللہ ہو کم دا جوائنس ہینڈ ود می دس از تھرڈ نسرا ہیلپنگ ہم ان از مشن اینڈ دی فورتھ ون و تبا نور الزی ان دل فالو دی بک دی لائٹ وچ ہیز بی وچ ول بی سینٹ Now this is what is being say, said to Moses. 
2000 years before the advent of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam 1400 years before christ and muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was to come 600 years after jesus so 2000 years before الذين يتبعون الرسول النبي الامي الذي يجدونه مكتوبا عندهم في التوراه والانجيل يامرهم بالمعروف وينهاهم عن المنكر ويحل لهم الطيبات ويحرم عليهم الخبائث ويضع عنهم اسرهم والاغلال التي كانت عليهم فالذين امنوا به وعذروه ونصروه واتبعوا النور الذي انزل معه اولئك هم المفلحون we should pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he includes us all of us among this group but we have to make a resolve ourselves we have to take to this path and make a determination that we shall be fulfilling all these four fundamentals of our relationship with muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam